here, Daniel. For phases of that race, you look like you had some really strong pace. Just talk me through the frustrations of obviously not being able to get the maximum result out of there today. Uh, I feel like the frustration I'd, I'd kind of uh, put aside for today. You know, I, I, I let that go last night and uh, I didn't end up breaking anything. I, I, I felt like some objects were going to get smashed after qualifying, but maybe there's a bit of a bit of calm with age, I don't know. But uh, anyway, I yeah, I, I kind of knew that what's done is done and try to make the most of today. And even, uh, obviously it's nice that I there was moments in the race where I did have pace and I was able to show, okay, I can still get some good stints in there. But um, it was still good to get the laps. And yeah, there's, there's things through the race where I'll um, mark. Like we have, uh, we have, let's say a button on the wheel that I can like use as a reference to say, oh, that lap I felt something there. So, you know, like there was, um, I'm not giving away secret information, but it's just uh, things so I remember to tell the engineers after. So there's a few points through the through the race that I marked, let's say, and yeah, so it's good. It's good to get the, the understanding, the data gathering and all that. Um, obviously the weekend, I would have loved to have gone better, but um, yeah, we're, I think we're just gonna keep our, kind of eyes on the prize and it's it hasn't been the first, the best three races to start the season for sure and it's not especially kind of the preparation I had coming into the season it's definitely not where I expect it to be but um, it's certainly not something that we're going to get like rattled by or anything we just got to stay on course and I'm sure we'll uh, we'll find it. Does it feel like you're you're making progress or you're at least grounding kind of yourself to know that when you kind of do find that magic dust, you can kind of make that step forward. It feels like you just got to put a load of building blocks in place, basically, until you can kind of get the most out of the car. Yeah, I mean, I definitely, I definitely uh, believe I can can do it. And it's there's still like it's probably a two part process now. I think there's there's obviously me diving into the data and seeing even kind of with like driving technique. Is it why am I doing this? You know, is it because of what I feel? Is it you know like I'm trying to then respond or uh, correlate that to the data and talk to the engineers why I'm doing something and then ask them questions why is it giving me this feeling and it's so yeah I'm, I'm certainly throwing a lot of questions at them and uh, and I'm obviously asking myself a lot too so um, I wouldn't say yeah there's any any panic I would have loved the season to start better started better but it's uh, we'll just keep digging I think there is I think as well the car hasn't really changed from last year you know obviously it's a bit of an update but it's characteristics and everything are very similar so I think there's some confidence in that it's not that we've changed everything and all of a sudden this car suits Yuki and doesn't suit me it's I certainly don't feel it's anything like that um, I think we will find something and then yeah I thought it would have been this weekend maybe it's uh, maybe it's next and if it's not the next then we'll keep going until it happens and uh, it will happen maybe it's in Japan see you there <laughs> Cheers.